guys, Gene here with G-Squared Tactical. Got something special on the channel today. Well, special to me anyway. Uh, we have the CZ-1012. This is a 12 gauge with the gasless inertia system. And this is a bronze receiver. Your eyes are not deceiving you. I have waited on this shotgun for quite some time as CZ does make this shotgun in an all-terrain series that has an entire all OD green barrel with an OD green receiver, which I was not a fan of. And of course, it's they have it is all black with, and they also have one that's uh, with synthetic stock. I was not a fan of the OD green colored one, the all terrain one. I was kind of, uh, it was kind of ugly, I thought. But I saw this one, and people at the gun shop, two of them actually I went to, had said they never saw that before, never had one in the store. So they put an order in for me and finally after about two or three months it showed up and I'm glad that it did because I really, really like aesthetically just opening this up and looking at it. it was just a beautiful, beautiful thing to look at. Hey guys, you made it almost two minutes in. We hope that means you've enjoyed the video so far. Wanted to take a minute to stop the video, say hello to Trumpy Bear here. He likes to watch me do gun videos. Sure, we'll get some comments about that. But on a serious note, just wanted to let you know that you don't have to wait. You can go ahead right now, hit that thumbs up at the bottom of the video, and be sure that you subscribe. As I said, you can do that right now. Set your alerts so that you know when we're putting up more awesome content. You guys have told us how much you've enjoyed it. But we do not get subsidized by firearm manufacturers. We don't get accessories, ammo, or anything for free. So the only way we can continue to keep doing this, putting up the content that you guys love so much, is if you subscribe and hit that like button. So please do that now, and we'll get back to the video. I wanted this because of the price point, of course. The MSRP is for, uh, $679. I think I ended up paying out the door tax and all like $653. But that's, a, that's an awful low price for an inertia-driven workhorse semi-automatic shotgun. Now, CZ claims that they, and I'm sure they do, that they put this through a 5,000 round test with no oil, you know, without cleaning it, and that it does not have any broken parts. That's kind of their in-house torture test, I suppose. Uh, that's pretty impressive to say the least, although an inertia-driven semi-automatic shotgun is known to be a workhorse that needs very little babysitting as far as cleaning and things like that. You can shoot this, put it in the safe, let it sit a couple months, get it out. Probably going to be just as flawless as it was the first time you ever shot it. Of course, if you take the plug out of the end, it's... Uh, which you know limits the capacity to two if you take the plug out which is easy to do it just kind of falls out really as you're taking it apart you can get a four plus one or you can get four two and three quarter inch shells in this tube and of course then you would have a four plus one semi-automatic shotgun with your two two and three quarter inch shells this will uh take three inch shells uh three inch magnum uh it is not a three and a half inch uh, and to me, that's kind of overkill. I don't even know what the purpose of having that is. You can pattern better with a three inch or a two and three quarter. And just in my personal opinion, three, three and a half inches, a little bit overkill. Uh, this is a Turkish walnut stock and forearm here. The forearm again is, yeah, it's, it's kind of a little bit flimsy when you take it off nothing really to write home to mom about I don't suppose but it is nicely done very aesthetically pleasing and it is very tight that's one of the first things I noticed about the gun in fact so much so that it was kind of hard to, to, to get apart and put back together uh, because of how tight this forearm is there's no movement whatsoever front to back side to side I cannot stand a shotgun that the forearm is flimsy or flops around on it so way to go on that CZ. And the stock here is a real solid, solid Turkish walnut. This, this barrel is chrome lined and it has a matte black with an eight millimeter flat vent on the top. And this is a 28 inch barrel. 
and it did come with five chokes. We'll talk about that here in a second. This is an aluminum alloy receiver with obviously the burnt bronze or bronze colored uh, Cerakote. Now, Sierra Coat. Now, I seen a review on the All Terrain where the guy said that he had used his quite a bit. He was duck hunting or something and that the finish on it had worn off from use. Now, you know, again, we haven't had this gun long enough for me to know whether or not that's true, but well, I guess time will tell, we'll see, but the finish is beautiful. It's a beautiful Sierra Cody finish. As I said, it does come with five chokes, obviously one of them being the cylinder, one of them being an improved modified, one of them being an improved cylinder, one of them being a full, and one being a modified. This gun has an overall length of 49 inches and a total weight of 6.5 pounds. One of the first things that you'll notice when you pick this up is just how well balanced it is, how well it holds in the hand and swings around and how light it is. It's a very, very light shotgun for others in its class. It does come with five stock shims. Again, just another little goodie that's in the bag. It has five stock shims with it to change the angle of the stocks to make it compatible with a wide range of shooters. It does have a cross bolt safety, which knocks over to fire from right to left and it's right in front of the trigger guard. So it makes it very easy for the right hander to just knock it off and for their finger to fall right down into the trigger guard. Really, really like the placement of that. Well thought out, way to go CZ. Has a nice large trigger guard here so that you can have gloves, big fingers, whatever the case might be. You'll have no issue getting in and out of that trigger guard. It also has a shell drop lever that is right in front of that safety literally right in front of it so so you do not have to move your your hand you do not have to move your grip or anything to manipulate that uh, you can literally be shooting and manipulate it with your hand and a lot of them like even on some of your higher priced ones it'll be behind the trigger guard here so you literally have to bring your hand back to manipulate it. This is very, again, very well placed, very well thought out by CZ, okay? So moving on to the charging handle here, it is an hourglass shaped tactical type charging handle. It's not the traditional C shape that you see on some of them where your finger seems to want to slip off. This is very well, uh, easily, should I say, manipulated from all angles from you know it's just easy to manipulate i really like the hourglass shaped charging handle here over the c-shaped charging handle that you typically will see on a lot of semi-automatic shotguns also the the uh, bolt release is a shoe shaped now i know they call it something else but to me it looks like a person's foot or a shoe and it's wide and on the very, very front, the widest part of it is how you push it to, to, uh, to drop your bolt. If, if your bolt is locked back here, you push it forward. So it's very natural. You know, a lot of them have just a single button here that you, you sometimes is kind of have to use a little bit of force to, to, to push the button to get your bolt to fall forward. This pushes forward which is very natural, it's a very natural feel. You could push the same shoe shape in the heel here and it will release the rounds from your magazine tube. So again, just something is very well thought out. Speaking of being very well thought out, if you've ever loaded a semi-automatic shotgun a lot, you'll sometimes get your fingers pinched, even get little blood spots on your fingers from loading uh, the mag tube, this is a very, very, very large wide loading port that makes it very easy to load without pinching your fingers. Uh, nicely checkered forearm here, very aesthetically pleasing, very usable, very functional. 
and it does have finger grooves it's almost the entire length of the forearm also very nice checkering on the pistol grip here on both sides very aesthetically pleasing and again very usable i will say that the wrist of the pistol grip here is kind of straight which is kind of not typical of a semi-automatic shotgun and but I, I will say this that we were able to take it out and shoot it the land that we typically shoot on we don't have access to anymore so we had to go to a local outdoor uh, shooting range and they kind of frown on distractions and things like that from filming so we didn't get to film anything but shooting this gun was very very it is not nose heavy it's not whippy at all it swings around very nicely and it didn't the 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 pistol grip being very straight didn't didn't seem to be an issue didn't seem to be a problem at all i mean it swung around very nicely and was not whippy or nose heavy at all especially with a balance point being right in front of the receiver this gun is very very well balanced and the the stock here has a very nice almost limb saver like grip on the, i'm not grip but uh butt pad or cushion and it absorbs the recoil very well the, the recoil is already minimal with this inertia driven system but this really helps out a lot too very very comfortable gun to shoot i typically don't talk about triggers because as you know i'm not a trigger snob but everybody always ultimately ends up asking so since you guys will ask i will say that we'll see if you guys can hear this but i believe my neighbors probably woke up i mean it's very loud very tactile not only can you hear it when you're shooting even with earplugs in but you can feel it you can feel it pushing back on your finger very tactile very nice trigger it does have a little bit of take up but when it breaks it breaks very very crisp very little movement in the trigger i really like the trigger especially for a gun again that's msrp is 679 and a lot of times get for around 600 dollars. let's listen to that awesome reset one more time are you ready that's where you want to be with your with your tr uh, trigger right there um, it does have like a typical shotgun instead of a fiber optic or a brass bead on the front It's just a white bead front dot on your I mean a white bead on your front sight. There's no There's no sight this back here this mid mid length. I guess I'm probably going to get one that's magnetic or clip on or something and probably add that if I'm able to, I'll probably change this front sight to a more fiber optic front sight. But other than that, I have very little to no negative to say about this gun. Sometimes you have to consider what you paid for a gun before you decide to start bashing things about it. And in the semi-automatic world with Benelli and Beretta and Franchi and some of these other ones are Franchi being in the two thousand three thousand dollar range i think this could compete with those all day for a lot less than that i hope we covered everything i'm sure you guys have any questions you'll ask us if we've made any mistakes you'll tell us we love interacting with you please make sure that you hit the subscribe button that's the only way we can continue to keep doing this and hit that thumbs up we really appreciate you guys watching today